dive into the unbelievable as the Mormon Church declares an all-out war against a non-human enemy, artificial intelligence. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has recently decided to discourage its members from using AI technology. The key players in this technological drama? None other than ChatGPT, Bard, and Bing. The Church has expressed serious concerns about these silicon intellects. They believe that while AI can have its perks, it might just be a wolf in sheep's clothing, potentially inhibiting spiritual growth. Imagine that. An AI being a stumbling block on the path to enlightenment. The plot thickens when we find out that the Church's ward leaders were getting suspicious of the surge in well-prepared talks by members. Turns out, these members had been secretly using ChatGPT to prepare for their church activities. But don't worry, no one was excommunicated. In the end, the church is encouraging its members to put down their devices and pick up their scriptures, focusing more on personal, spiritual growth. To ensure this, they've even decided to block all AI websites on church meeting house Wi-Fi. In a world where technology is a common ally, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints stands alone, wielding the sword of faith against the silicon brain. The battlefield is drawn and the fighting tactics are clear. The Mormon Church is blocking AI websites on all church Wi-Fi. This move is more than just a digital deterrent, it's a call to arms. The Church is not simply pushing back against the encroachment of technology into the spiritual realm, but actively encouraging its members to turn to traditional methods for spiritual nourishment. It's a return to the roots, a renaissance of reliance on scriptures, conference talks, and divine revelation. The Church is fostering an environment that promotes individual spiritual growth, unfettered by the influence of artificial intelligence. It's a bold strategy, one that underscores the Church's commitment to maintaining the sanctity of its spiritual practices in the face of rapidly advancing technology. By blocking AI websites, the Church is effectively setting up a digital blockade, a firewall against the Silicon Serpent. It's a clear message to its members. The path to spiritual growth is not aided by artificial intelligence, but by introspection, study, and the pursuit of divine wisdom. A digital blockade is in place, as the Church seeks to protect its members from the Silicon Serpent's influence. As the first salvos are fired in this unprecedented war, we are left pondering, what are the implications of this divine digital duel? The Church's stance against AI could potentially act as a catalyst, sparking a wider religious backlash against technology. Many faiths pride themselves on tradition and human connection, elements that could be perceived as being threatened by the rise of AI. However, this war could also have internal implications for the Church. The younger, tech-savvy generation may find themselves caught between their faith and the technology they've grown up with. Could this decision drive a wedge between them and the Church? Furthermore, will this move against AI stifle innovation within the Church's community, or will it encourage members to be more creative in their spiritual growth without relying on artificial intelligence? These are questions that are yet to be answered. What is certain, however, is that this war is a landmark event in the intersection of religion and technology, setting a precedent for future faith-based responses to AI. The future is uncertain as the Mormon Church stands firm in its war against AI. This is a call to action, to contemplate, to discuss, and to understand the implications of this celestial clash between faith and technology. Thank <laughs> you.